Hello, my name's Chris Hoppy with Best Line Equipment, and I'm here today at our Uniontown location. I'm one of our outside sales reps. And what I want to talk about today is some of the things that you, you can use to help qualify what scissor lift you need for your job. So what we're going to do is take a look at these and learn a little bit about what the different heights and widths mean. So for example, on this machine here, this is a 20 foot high scissor that's 32 inches wide. The reason that's important is let's say that you need to get up 25 feet. The thing to know is do you need to reach that 25 foot with your feet or with your hands? This machine being a 20 foot scissor lift, that'll get your hands at about 26, 27 feet and that's your working height. This number here where your feet would be is referred to your platform height. So if you need a 25 foot scissor lift or to reach 25 feet, you can get away with a 19 or 20 foot lift. If you look over here at this machine, this machine is a 26 foot that's 46 inches wide. So if you know that you only need to reach 25 feet, you can save yourself a little bit of money by going with a 20 foot machine. Now, talking about how high you need to go and what the platform height is, is which is where your feet would be, and your working height is which is where your hands would be, that's, that's one thing to consider. Another thing to consider is how wide the lift is. This machine here is 46 inches wide. Now, the nice thing about that, if you have the room, if you have double doors to go through to get into where you're working, and you've got wider, wider entryway and wider hallways, is you get a wider deck. So it's much easier to fit your guys and your materials and you have some room to move around. But if you're working on a job site where you have narrow doorways, single man doors, and you have narrow hallways, or you're just in a situation where um, there's a lot of cluster, this is a 32 inch wide width. So with that 32 inches, you can fit through single man doors. You've got more room to maneuver around and it'll get into tighter spaces. So you've got to consider the platform height where your feet would be, the working height where your hands would be, and how wide the machine is to, in order to select the right machine for your particular application. Now if you look at this machine over here, this machine is a 1230 ES. So its platform height would put your feet at 12 feet. It's 30 inches wide, which would allow you to reach about 15 to 17 feet. Now the main thing you'll notice about this lift is how short it is. So if you're in a situation where your access point might be a wheelchair ramp where you have to make those tight turns, or you're in an office space where you have narrow hallways and you're going into offices, this may be the way to go. So there's lots of things to consider just besides how high you have to get when you're selecting an electric scissor lift. Again, it's worrying about the platform height, where your feet would be, the working height where your hands can reach, and how wide the machine is to fit into your particular application. If you're still unsure or you need help, the Best Line sales reps, we will be glad to come out, take a look at your job site, do some measuring and talk through and make sure you're getting the lift that fits your application and do it for the most value and to give you the most time and maneuverability to get your job done. So thank you, I appreciate your time.